Now at 6, new reaction to yesterday's hearing on sexual assaults on college campuses. Lawmakers are calling for changes on how they're handled, and today we spoke with a local advocate for sexual assault and abuse victims who testified at the hearing. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen continues our local coverage live in studio. Well, Peg Langhammer with Day One says Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse asked her to testify yesterday because he wanted Rhode Island represented. Langhammer says that's because the Ocean State is on the cutting edge of this issue. Sexual Assault and Trauma Resource Center. As a Senate committee discussed how to handle campus rapes, a senator from Rhode Island, Sheldon Whitehouse, asked questions of a victim's right advocate from Rhode Island, Peg Langhammer. We are thrilled to have her here in Washington and welcome her to the committee. Let us begin. Yeah, Rhode Island, in many ways, is, is on the cutting edge. I sat down with Langhammer, the head of day one in Providence, this morning after returning from Washington, D.C. Looking at what a, a victim-centered approach to this will look like. The Subcommittee on Crime and Terrorism is considering legislation that would require colleges to tell students who report a rape the benefits of going quickly to a hospital and the police and the immediate collecting of forensic evidence. We, we currently don't have an effective system. We, you know, you, we, it just does not universally exist um, in the state or anywhere in the country. And I think that's what we need to create. Langhammer told me the current system is beyond broken and police, universities and advocacy groups like hers need to come together when a victim comes forward. We're learning that it needs to be a team approach. Victims need to know fully what their options are. Just to show you how serious this issue is, federal data shows that the vast majority of sexual assaults on campuses, almost 90% are believed to go unreported. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.